Hello friends, welcome to my channel Clinical Biochemistry by Dr. P.K. Prabhakar. Today I am going to talk about uh, one of the important topic uh, in the field of research. Uh, the we are going to talk about how to increase your research impact. Uh, so this is something related to the research means whenever you are going to do research you are going you are going to publish it. So how your impact research impact can be increased and you can uh, do what are the different things you can do it. So we all want our research to make an impact on the world that is normally our uh, desire but impact can be so varied and unpredictable uh, that it can seem difficult to plan for the type of impact we hope to have. Obviously uh, conducting research, uh, conducting uh, relevant research methodologically sounds, uh, research is the most important predict. Uh, you can call it predictor or you can call it the measurable uh, things of impact but there are a number of other strategies you can employ to boost your research boost your impact by increasing the visibility and accessibility of your research so uh, when we are going to uh, talk about uh, different aspects so i will talk about five different things by which your research impact can be increased so in the case of first thing, uh, use author identifier and or profiles. So what is author identifier? Normally author identifier uh, disambiguate authors uh, with the same or similar names. Like uh, you might be knowing that why we are using Aadhaar card, why we are having registration number, why we are having roll numbers. Uh, so these are called different identifiers. So author identifiers normally disambiguate authors. Uh, with the same or similar type of names because they persist even if you charge you change your names uh, switch fields or relocate having an author identifier ensures that your work is discoverable and attribute to you only an identifier will simplify updating your research your cv your resume or pertaining an annual report because it streamlines uh, the progress the process of compiling a bibliography of your work so the first thing is in that case is ORCID. What is ORCID? Uh, in a global research environment, it is highly unlikely that you are publishing under a name and that is completely unique. So it is not possible that like my name, only one person is there. So this makes it difficult to search for your work using uh, tools like search engine and databases. So then we are going to use different ident identifiers. One of the identifiers is ORCID ID. So author identifier like ORCID ID solves this problem by generating its simple unique ID number that uses uh, to identify your work. ORCID is a global uh, registry of unique identifier for researchers and scholars that is open, non-proprietary, transparent, it can be mobile and community based. So throughout your life span till you are going to work uh, in a particular field your ORCID ID will be same. So ORCID provides a persistent digital identifier to distinguish you from all other researchers, automatically linking your professional activities. Your ORCID ID belongs to you throughout your scholarly career as a persistent identifier to distinguish you from any other researchers. Second identifier you can use that is called researcher ID. Researcher ID is normally given by it is you can create on the Thomson Reuters website. So it is Thomson Reuters registry of unique ident authors identifier limited to authors with work indexed in Web of Science. Uh, researcher ID add dynamic citation matrix uh, from Web of Science. Author have to register for this register ID. The third we are having that is you can call it uh, Google Scholar. Uh, here you can log in with your Google account. So it ensures that all your work are grouped together in Google Scholar and enables you to track your citations of your work. Fourth we are having that is Scopus. Scopus uh, belongs to uh, Elsevier and Science Direct you can call it. It's all are from the same group. So Scopus automatically assign a unique author identifier to all authors of content in the Scopus database and generates a publication list associated with each identifier. If you have an ORCID ID, Scopus will automatically keep your ORCID bibliography up to date. So you don't have to do anything. So automatically it will be updated on your ORCID ID also. And the last one in this case is the Bidwan. 
uh, which is Ministry of uh, uh, Education of Indian Government. Uh, they have started this one. This is a database of National Researchers Network. So you can create your ID on these identifier and there your all the research profiles will be visible to everyone. The second thing is you can increase the visibility of your work or promote your research work. So there are a variety of online places where you can share your research work, your articles, your papers, your manuscript once it will be published to increase and track its visibility. Here some of the th uh, things I am going to uh, tell it to you. First one is Figshare. What is Figshare? Figshare it is a cloud based repository that allows users to upload any file format to be made visualized in the browser so that figure, database, data sets, databases, media, papers, posters, presentation, anything you can share it here. Second thing is uh, GitHub. GitHub it is a web based hosting service for version control using Git. It can be used to ho host softwares, codes and even websites. It includes an enlightened panel that provides information on interaction with your content. Next one is Twitter. You, here you can share your uh, links or short messages, uh, keep up the, with the con conferences and meeting and connect with potential collaborators. Tweet can be tracked uh, for altmetric purposes. The next one we are having LinkedIn. Uh, this is a professional social networking site where you also you can share like uh, Facebook we are sharing. So there also your research can be shared with others. Next we are having WordPress. WordPress here you can create your blogs, websites uh, with the popular platforms. Uh, this is a hosting uh, website also. It can host your website also. And last one is Vimeo. Here also you can watch, you can upload, you can share video contents. So these are the different places where you can share your research so that it will be more visible to the uh, scientific community or anyone who can do the searches. Then, Consider where you are going to publish your paper. So when, when where you are want to publish your paper, so where you are going to publish that you need to think about. So where you are going to publish is as much as important as what you want to publish. So keep the following in mind when you are going to select a paper, articles, manuscript or for a journal. So in source, first the journal is indexed by a health database if you are working in the healthcare sector. Articles databases like Medline, Nescopus, Web of Science will be uh, key uh, sets, key access points for your works. Then second thing is when you are going to select a journals, second uh, important point is metrics like impact factor, like SJR value can help you to identify which journal is good, which journal is not as good as you want. So according to the different matrices, you can select your journal. Comparing the impact factor of various journals using journal citation report can also help you to decide where to publish. Then the intense pressure to publish had led the rise of the predatory journals. So there are a number of predatory journals where you have to pay it and they, these publications pub, uh, charge a small author's fee but do not engage in proper peer review processes. So automatically means normally you are going to pay them and they will directly publish your papers. They are not papers are not going for through peer review process and they are not indexed in major databases also. So ultimately your research papers will be of not be very much useful. Next point to uh, increase your impact is make your work open access as much as whenever you are going to select a journal try to select the open access journal because when once your paper will be open access journals it will be more downloaded it will be more read by the papers it makes sense uh, work that is freely available is more likely to use uh, than the work hidden behind the paywall so normally no one wants to pay for articles for journals if they don't have the, that much sufficient amount of money the full content full extent full content of uh, this open access journal citation advantages is still being explored and normally paper will have more citations so it will be more visible to the people then last point is you can connect find connect with the like-minded researchers so here i'm going to give you three different uh, tools three different online um, websites where you can connect by with the like-minded researchers first one is academia 
it normally facilitates the interactions with other scholars and promote sharing your works also provides analytics regarding your uh, your works second one is linkedin there also you can share you can connect with the professionals in your field in your area and third is uh, research gates research gate <coughs> it also facilitates the interaction with other researchers you can put post your questions you can answer some of the questions uh, you can ask many number of papers from the authors you can read many articles so here it facilitates interaction with the other researchers and promote sharing your researches also track citations and download of your work as well as the tweets about your works so these are the different five different points i have told you uh, for to increase your uh, mean impact first i have told you uh, you have to you should use uh, author identifier like or seed uh, google scholar uh, the searcher id scopus id uh, vidwan id then i have told you uh, online place where you can share your research so there are many places where you can share your research so that it will be available for uh, more people will be it will visible for more of the people third i have told you whenever you are going to select a journal select a better journal so that it will be uh, read by many peoples fourth i have told you if possible select a open access journal so that it will have more audience and last one i have told you find and connect with the like minded researcher in different groups so this is all about how you can increase your research impact in your field so thank you very much if you like the video press the like button if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it you can press the bell button so that you will get all the notifications as soon as i will upload the video thank you very much have a nice day